Standard deviation is one way to examine sets of scores. And standard deviation itself only means how far from the normal, how far apart, how far spread apart are a set of scores. So how does one score compare to the normal score? And so again, it's just a comparison of scores and I'll show you some examples to give you some ideas on this. When you look at a normal curve, you will notice that you've got the negative one sigma or negative one standard deviation, the mu or the mean, and then the positive one um, sigma, which is the positive one standard deviation. So this is your, your mean, median, and mode right up here. So that particular idea, the mean, median, and mode, is going to be this little vertical line right here. So you're going to have 50% to the right, 50% to the left. So it's going to be your median. So half the scores above, half the scores below. 34% fall within one standard deviation. 34% fall within one standard deviation, either to the negative or to the positive. But then if you, if you ask the question, well, what about two standard deviations? Two standard deviations are going to be this much together. So it's going to be 34.1 plus 13.6. So you're looking at 40... Um, 47.7, so almost 50%, but not quite, because you have a 2.14 and a 0.13 over here. So when you're, uh, and I'll have a, 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 in a moment another graph to, to show you how the, the normal curve will work. So how is standard deviation used in AP Psych? Well, we use it a lot in IQ tests, and often you'll find a multiple choice question that is something along the lines of, Percy has an IQ that is two standard deviations above the mean. How high is his IQ? Well, the answer is going to be at least 130. And so when you look here, it's going to be two standard deviations above the mean. It's going to be 130 because the mean, median, and mode is going to be 100. And then the, um, the 15 points is going to be the standard deviation. Then Jimmy does better than 86% of the people taking the test. How many standard deviations is he from the mean? Well, the answer is going to be plus 2, and here's why. When you look at this particular graph, you'll notice that within the two, uh, one standard deviation of the mean, you've got 68%. And then within uh, two standard deviations of the mean, you've got 96%. And so you're saying, but wait a minute, that doesn't still answer that question. That's why I love this particular one. Because you, and you're going to want to look at this one uh, a little bit more. This is one that um, I got back when I, way back when I was in college. So standard deviations minus 4, 3, 2, and 1. So you've got 34%, and so what you're looking at is essentially percentiles. And when you're looking at percentiles, you're going to say, okay, a negative 2 standard deviations, we're looking at about the second percentile. Minus 1 standard deviation, we're looking at about 16%. So that's going to be 13 plus 2.14 plus 0.13. So a percentile, everyone does better than everyone to the left of them. 50th percentile, the, if you have scored the 50th percentile, you've done better than 50% of the people taking the test. 70th percentile, 70% of the people have done um, uh, worse than you, or you've done better than 70% of the people. So when you're looking at these particular ideas, let's see if I can get rid of the, um, check that, let's see if I can get rid of these, uh, 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 there we go. Um, but when you're looking at these particular uh, graphics, you're looking at how to, uh, how to examine a set of data. And so when you're looking at IQ, and that's this bottom section right here, when you're looking at deviation IQs, it's going to be a standard deviation of 15 with a mean of 100. So again, it's going to be on a normal curve. You've got negative 1 standard deviation is going to be 85 as an IQ. Minus 2 standard deviations is going to be 70 as an IQ. Plus 1, 115. Plus 2, 130. Plus 3, 145. So that's going to be standard deviations. How far spread apart are the scores? And how does one individual score compare to the other ones? So you've got percentile equivalence, 
how much better than uh, did you do than everybody else? And then when you've got uh, standard deviations, how did you do in relation to everyone else in terms of uh, uh, above or below the mean in, in a set of scores? And then z-scores are another type of uh, uh, statistical test that you're looking at, and it enables you to compare standard deviations on different kinds of tests. And so you just need to know that if you have a z-score of positive 1, you've done better than about 83-84% um, of the people, and you also um, are uh, one standard deviation above the mean on that particular test.